Hello, welcome to another episode of Pay Street TV. I'm your prospector, Chris. We are at the spot where we found that big flake yesterday. Where these two currents are coming together. And we're going to dig a big bucket. We made a new classifier just for this. Prospecting. Prospecting? Yeah, looking for gold. <laughs> yeah. No, and I find more gold in this park than anywhere else I go. How is that? I don't know. How, how did you discover that you would find it? I mean, what made you start doing that? Just, to... Just something to do. And I started doing it, and I liked it. So you go to different water? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I go all over. Oh, I've been to Mohican, Tuscarawas River. Go. You dig out a pan. So you, dig, you dig out some dirt, uh -huh. and the gold is so heavy that it just falls right to the bottom as I shake it. And as I get smaller and smaller, don't mind, I make a show on YouTube, if you don't mind. Okay. I don't get it in the sun, and then it looks really neat. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. It's crazy, right? Oh yeah. My goodness. Who would know? Just little itty-bitty flakes here, because it's been, like, ground up by the glaciers. This all came from Canada. So now what do you do with that? I just look at it. Wish I had more. Okay. Yeah. That's your hobby. Yep. And how long have you been doing that? A couple of years. It took okay. me the first year to figure out what wasn't gold and where it's not. Okay, because my mother's, you know, like, okay, as a shovel, here, what is he doing? And it's not fishing, so. Nope. I okay. found a really nice flake right at the end of that little point right there uh -huh. yesterday. So now I'm going to get a bigger bucket. I'm going to sift it all down and yeah, maybe... Yeah, there's always something, something to do. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, Why are not? You, are you Chris? Yes. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, Nice Chris. to meet you. I'm Renee. Renee. Mm -hmm. right. You ever go to YouTube? I do. If you ever look up Pay Streak TV, you'll probably Pay see it. Pay Streak? Pay Streak. P-A-Y-S-T-R-E-A-K? Okay, yep. TV, it's all one word. Okay. That's you? Yeah, it's me. Who's that? Happy Golding. Thank Who's you. Theopolis. Theopolis. Mm -hmm. Chris loves dogs. He gets a lot of dogs on video. Really? That's Theopolis. Theopolis. That is Theopolis. Oh, aren't you beautiful? <laughs> All hm. right. Thank you. Thanks. All right, we're back on Pay Street TV. Oh, we're gonna throw a whole bunch of that, and we got a couple gallons here. And we're gonna try something new today. Going through and panning all that down. We're gonna, we're gonna try something different. You know, I'm thinking I'm gonna call this thing a snail. So when it's all rolled up, it looks just like a snail. Does look like a snail, doesn't it? I don't know. It looks like it could work. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Alright, tell you what, we're going to get one of these stakes and see if we can't stake this down. Okay, we're back on Pay Street TV. We got the snail stretched out. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're just trying stuff. So we went to Lowe's and bought a section of this corrugated uh, downspout extension. And it looks, looks like it might work pretty good. You know what? I'm always trying to figure out different ways to do this. don't know is if it's going to be fast enough current to take it all down and get it out. We'll play around with it see if we can't get that dialed in. Back in a second. And we're back on Bay Street TV. 
I think I got this pretty good. About as good as it's gonna get. You can almost use a little bit more current, but I just give it a, a couple of those once in a while. They kind of freeze up a bit, so we're gonna keep feeding this thing. Yeah, you know, I think it just needs a little tweaking. And this might be all right. Not bad for eight bucks. My oh, class yeah, fire wasn't working very well, though. I'm afraid it wasn't sticking down in the water deep enough. I'm going to have to do something about that. Okay, we're back on Pay Street TV. We've been running our snail for a little while now. And it looks like it's doing okay. We got a big pile up at the back, which we'll have to we'll have to do some tweaking and figure this out. This is totally experimental. Went to Lowe's, bought this, and spent the afternoon cutting it up and trying to figure anything out. But you know, it looks like I got a whole bunch of heavies up in the front, so that's really what I care about. Almost done with this already, so I just went through like oh maybe four or five cans worth of material in about 20 minutes. That's great. I had to give myself a little bit of a V there to give me some current in there. That's another thing I need to do with this thing is attach it, attach some kind of a funnel on the end and open that up so that my tailings can escape. Other than that, it seems pretty good. We're going to finish that out and we'll start panning. We'll be back in a bit. There she is. <laughs> no, no kids to lick today. No. All right, we got to get up close. I love the, love the bulldog. Got to do this. And then we'll get back to the show. Don't chase my bulldog. Well, I know you're gonna come and get me, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, I just love this dog. <laughs> That's great. How are you tonight? Good. Oh, you told him about that? Yeah, I was telling him about that. Just little specks. Yeah. You almost gotta hold it in front of you and spin it real slow. Oh, I see it. You can see that? Uh -huh. so it's, uh, Look at him. it's pretty good. You know, yeah. they say if you go down around, uh, down around the Mount Vernon and Danville area. Down towards Mohican. Uh -huh. I just hit Mohican. There's a lot of gold in that creek. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. My goodness, I got to get back down there. <laughs> it was like two pans, two flakes, and I'm like, what? Well, the one fellow told me, I was about, what, a couple years ago? Yeah. He said he would make as much as... Uh, a week. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Who would have thunk? Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit out of my stomping grounds, but I go back there. That, yes. yep. Heck yeah. Have a good evening. Those people are nice. I love that bulldog. That's great. All right, back to the task at hand. I have got the, the snail out of there. And it looks like I got all kinds of heavies. Like in the middle, there's a whole bunch, and I don't know what's here at the end. We're gonna probably dig down in some of these and see if there's anything heavy in there. Yeah, it looks like there might be a couple getting through, but all in all, no, not really. Not as much as what's back here. Back here, that's all black. I don't know. I'll tell you what, we're going to try to... Ah, screw it. We'll just dump that whole thing in the pan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoop out some of these and look and see how much black sand's getting in the end. But, you know, for experimental purposes, it was seven freaking dollars, right? Or eight dollars? I don't know. It was cheap. Cheap enough that I didn't mind buying one and cutting it the heck up. 
We're going to get this down. It's starting to get late. Back in a minute. All right, we're back on Pay Streak TV. And I'll tell you what, the clean out on this thing was just ridiculously easy. This thing right here is just like a cup. And what I did was I had my pan sitting in my I would scoop down into the water and grab a big scoop of water and as I would pick it up it would all just go down like a waterfall and every little bit of stuff that just in, in there got washed straight down I didn't lose a bit and I was trying to figure out how I was going to do that so wow it was awesome worked out better than I thought gotta tell you really happy with the way the snail worked out we got some modifications to make there at the shop but I'm thinking if I could stiffen that up and maybe open this up a little bit by golly that thing's gonna work great because I had more black sand to pan out at the end of that than I've ever had before no gold in it but no well, whatever I had a whole bunch of black sand I think that's gonna work out great so that was a fun day didn't find no gold but we met some interesting people so at that, we're going to pack it up and get the heck out of here. Join us for another episode of Pay Street TV. Chris, see ya.